point on the on the disability aspect on you know you just everybody has their own race right you, you, everybody has their own thing that's going on and, and we can't judge each other uh, just based on what we see what what that reminded me of was I was at um, I don't know I was at some event and um, a wounded warrior project person uh, came up to speak in you know, one of this one of the guest speakers right so they came up and they put up their logo and everybody i mean they did a pretty good job branding themselves so everybody pretty much knows the logo of you know the guy kind of carrying the other guy right yeah. doing like a fireman's carry thing right i guess that was before they started doing the haws carry right so anyway so the fireman's carry of the uh two two soldiers or i don't know are they soldiers or marines they're probably Nobody marines because they're they're doing something oh Got it. So anyway, so so everybody knows that logo, right? And so he put it up, big old logo, and he said, tell me which one's the disabled veteran. Mm. They both are. And it's like, oh yeah, no shit. So uh, it it's like, okay, I get what you're saying, right? Because not everything is visible in that sense. And I, I get it, you know, especially when it comes to PTSD, that there's been a lot of push on like the invisible wounds of war and that type of stuff. But you can even segue that out into the person that has migraines, the person that has tinnitus, the person that has, you know, um, GERD, right? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Huh? I can't hear you. Yeah. So uh, I love that shirt. Where can I get that, by the way? Yeah, uh, I'll drop a link below. And Oh, how convenient. Right. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Same nice. plug. Okay. I, I love it. I love it. 